participants, a brilliant speaker. Please put your hands together for Mr. Frederick Harron. Hello. Uh, I am actually, I'm, I also have to start by saying that I'm extremely happy to be here. And you're supposed to say that when, when you start a speech, but I am actually extremely happy to be here. Uh, Tarabis and, 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 and me and me and Ms. Hamza, we have been trying to get this, our schedules to match for more than two years. It's been on my list to speak in Pakistan for, for many, many years. And the reason I should tell you is that I speak to other speaker colleagues uh, that you know, I share my experience with. And the ones who've been here to speak in Pakistan have told me that Pakistan is a great country to come and visit and a great country to speak in. And actually now, after, done, after we have done two sessions together with Tarabis, it's been a pleasure to be in this country. Now, I'm going to start by my speech by asking you three questions. I always start by asking these three, quest three questions. As you heard, I've, I've, I've been invited to speak in now 46 countries, and I write books on creativity, business creativity. And I'm, when I come to a country, I also want to learn about how do this country look at creativity, how do these people, what do they think about creativity? So before I give my message to you, I would like you to give me some feedback on how you look at creativity. Then I will begin my speech. So we start by three questions. Question number one. How many of you think that being creative is important in your job? Raise your hand. Come on. I know it's a simple question. That was, that was just like a warm-up question. All right, come on. Everyone should say yes, yes. And now we go to the second question, and this is going to be more interesting. How many of you think that you actually are a creative person? Interesting. And now the third question. How many of you think that your company, your organization, is doing enough to develop the creativity of its employees? All right, thank you. Now, let's, before we begin, let's look at how this compares to other countries and other industries. First question, is creativity important in your job? Yes, everyone says yes. It doesn't matter which country you go to, it doesn't matter which industry you go to, it doesn't matter who you talk to, everyone always says yes. Creativity is important in my job. I think this is important. The first message I want to send today is that we talk about the creative industries. Have you heard about this? The create, I work in the creative industries. There's an author called Richard Florida, and he talks about the creative class, how 30% of Americans are working in the creative industries. Fine. But if you are going to say that 30% work in the creative industries, you are also somehow implying that 70% are working in the non-creative industries. But what is the non-creative industries? There is no non-creative industries. It doesn't matter where you go, everyone always says yes. You go to a hospital, they say yes. You go to lawyers, they say yes. You go to a taxi driver, they say yes. Everyone says creativity is important. But not everyone says that they are creative. If you ask a bunch of people, do you think you are creative, normally, but 45% say yes and 55% say no. Everyone says it's a, it is an important skill. Most people say it's a very important skill, but I don't have it. In this room, everyone, or almost everyone said, creativity is important in my job. In this room, roughly 45% of you said that you were creative, which means you are behaving like average. This is extremely rare. If I go anywhere else in the world, almost anywhere else in the world, and I ask people at a marketing and advertising conference if they are think that they are creative, everyone would say yes. Everyone. Two weeks ago I was in, the, in Cannes, the, the Cannes Creative Festival. I did a speech. Everyone said yes. A couple of months ago, I'm do, doing a speech for advertising people in, in, in Singapore. Everyone said yes. I go here, half of you didn't say yes. 
Now, before we look at this as being something bad, if I go to Sweden and I ask non-advertising people, do you think you are creative? But 60% say yes, higher than the global average. If I go to UK, 60%. Northern Europe, 60%. Southern Europe, 80%. France, Spain, Italy. You go to America and you ask Americans, regardless of industry, do you think you are creative? 95% of Americans say, yes, of course. Then you go to Asia. Let's start with India and China. What happens if you ask this question in India or China? We'll start with China. What happens in China? Take a guess. How many say yes in China? Huh? 25%. No, that's what non-Chinese people think. But China is actually very high. For Asia, it's ex extremely, about 80 to 90%. How about India? 80, 90%. A big country means big confidences, generally. So we exclude India and China, we go to the rest of Asia, what happens? I live in Singapore. One country is even worse than Singapore and Japan. Take a guess, which country has the lowest level of creative confidence? It's an Asian country, which country? Do you take a guess? Anyone? Huh? No, North Korea, who said that? Just because people like you, two weeks ago, no, three weeks ago, I went to North Korea with one purpose, to ask North Koreans, do you think you are creative? And there was a hu huge surprise. I, you don't get to ask so many people in North Korea, because you know, they don't allow you to speak to so many. But of all the people I talked to, every single one of them said, yes, I am creative. Every single one of them. Four of them said, yes, of course. It is not North Korea. The correct answer is South Korea. Last time I was in South Korea, 300 people in the audience. Is creativity important in your job? Yes. 300 Koreans said yes. Second question, do you think you are creative? Not one. Not one South Korean person said yes. So I said, come on. Did you under, is the mic on? Do you speak English? Come on, no one here thinks you are creative? One guy raised his hand. He just wanted to clarify something. He said, no, not compared to Leonardo da Vinci. That's how South Korean people think. That's how Asian people think. Are you creative? No, not compared to the most creative person who has ever lived. What's the American way of thinking? Are you creative? Hell yeah, compared to my brother. Americans behave like North Koreans. North Koreans are not creative. I'm not saying Amer Americans are not creative. I'm saying just because you raise your hand doesn't necessarily mean that you are creative. And just because you do not raise your hand does not, doesn't necessarily mean that you are not creative. Actually, and this I think is important, the last 12 years I've been studying creativity. I have interviewed some of the most creative people in the world. The Facebooks, the Googles, the Twitters, and, and creative entrepreneurs, artists, all, all across the board. I love creativity. I want to understand what makes creative people create great stuff. And here's the thing. In order to be a creative person, you have to have confidence. Think about it. If everyone is going in this direction and you are going to say, no, let's go in this direction, you need confidence. You won't do it otherwise. But truly creative confidence, two truly creative people don't have too much confidence. Because truly creative people, they, they behave like this. Everyone is going in this direction. No, wait, I'm going to go in this direction. No, wait, I'm going to go in this direction. A creative person is a person who doubts. It's a creative, per, per, creative person is a person who has confidence and doubts at the same time. To be creative, we have to be confidently doubting. And the problem is that if you have too much confidence, you think you are creative, but you're missing opportunities. I would say, my, I've only been here in this country for three days, actually at the end of the speech I'm going to argue why I believe that Pakistanis have the potential to be the most creative people in the world. And I'm not only saying that to be nice to you, alright? One of the reasons would be now that you are behaving as an average, meaning you are confident in your creativity, you're high for being Asia, 
but you're also a very humble and friendly and nice people saying, no, I'm not going to be too confident. I'm not going to, everyone is not going to raise their hands. This is a perfect, this is in the sweet spot where you want to be. Third question, is your company doing enough to develop your creativity? Two people say yes. HR manager, and that's not a joke. It has literally happened three times. Creativity. I've actually written nine books, and the most famous book is called, as you heard, the idea book. And it's true, I have one copy here, and, and if we have Q&A at the end, I'll give it away to the first person who asks the question. The idea book has been included in this book, the 100 best business books of all time. I'm very happy, of course, that this has happened. I'm proud, actually. But I am more proud over the fact that out of those 100 authors who are on this list, there's only one of them who's living in Asia, and that one is me. I've been living in Asia for the last six, more than six years. I will be living in China, now I live in Singapore, and I have traveled to almost, well, all, at least all the major Asian countries. And I have chosen, as a creativity author, to leave the West and live in Asia, because I believe, from a creativity point of view, if you want to be a creative person, this is where you should be. So today I will talk, give you a talk. They have asked me, Terabes have asked me to come and give a talk about what I am writing a book about now. My latest book was about creativity specifically in developing countries. My next book is about what it means to be a global company and a global brand. The title of the book is One World, One Company and the book will come out in September. So two weeks ago, I was asked to do this speech in the Cannes Festival of Creativity, and now I'm asked to do the same speech here. But before I go into that, I would li just like to start by defining, uh, before I go in and describe this idea that I'm working on right now, first of all, I just want to describe what I...